<laughs> it's not true. I was either I was so tense for that game. I was either useless or the opposite and scored. Is that I used right? To get tense and up for it because they always used to hammer me. Hammer me. And that, and that, that affected you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got two pent up. When I, my first years going back there, I was so wanted to do so well to prove them wrong because they were giving me so much stick that I didn't produce. And then I scored a few years in, and then I sort of lost the shackles and, and scored pretty regularly. It, I suppose it makes it worse if you if you want to do well and you don't. Then the next time you play them, it's even worse, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. you sort of try too hard. I always yeah. thought the West Ham fans are bang out of order for that. For one of their own players to come through the system the way Frank did and. Yeah. Loved, loved West Ham. His dad played there, had been there all his life, and for them to turn it the way they did. You was... could say that was a compliment, though, because they'd seen him go on and, and be so successful. Yeah, but you don't do that to one of your own. No, but they are. Listen, the, I got on told stick when I played, whenever I played West Ham. They, you, they're going to home in on something. They probably warranted his view. Probably. <laughs> I don't think I ever lost there either. <laughs> <laughs> but, listen, they, they got so... I mean, their fans, the banter with those fans. I mean, oh, the West Ham fans are brilliant. But I, 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 I love playing for West Ham. I, loved to, I had a great relationship with the fans, you but it just, it wrong, yeah. it was just that was Is something it, that didn't uh, sit well with me. Genuinely, because people look at footballers and don't see them as human beings sometimes... But how much did it hurt? Well, it hurt me more when I played there and they used to give me stick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind when I went back, I didn't mind because it was, it was then, then seen yeah. as a compliment in a way, especially as the years went on. Did you understand it when you were still playing there and you were getting stick? Uh, yeah, I understand it retrospectively that my dad was there. They sort of thought there was some nepotism, but yeah. no, I don't. I was a West Ham boy. My dream was to play for West Ham and then... I used to get told to sit down when I was warming up. <laughs> <laughs> to go and sit down, fat boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I used to like, just trundle back to the bench. And how, and, and how old would you have been then? Uh, 17. From 17 to That's 20. The thing. You, like, yeah. you look back now and, and you can make sense of it. When you're 17, character building. you're a kid. That's well, the it thing. is character building, but how can that's you what, make... That's what I always say to any young kids when you do these talks or go to schools or talk to young players. You talk about characters and people that are strong-willed and st got a strong mentality to get them to the top. And Frank, I always use him as that example because what had he had to, to leave that club. Didn't you? Was, Eventually, was, was hard. It's Frank had to leave there to, to go and make his name. Yeah, you won in the end. I don't like to. You know, other people can say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, say that I'll say that for you. Uh,